Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper and Child and Mass. And please remember to uh, subscribe and give us the likes. And uh, we were working on this 550 Porsche rear taillight uh, panel here. And this is the left side. And this is where we left off after about an hour's worth of work. So it's if you squint, you can almost see the 550 look, but it's still pretty rough. A lot of people have said, boy, I'd throw that in the bin if, it, if I was doing it. But uh, we made some pretty good progress in an hour. And now I've, I've clamped it onto the wire form, and all the, uh, the areas that need attention are kind of shouting at me here. Lots of shrinking right here. This could stand a little internal shrink right here. And this is heading over this way where it should be rounding like this. So that's going to need a little more shrinking or maybe I'll, I'll punch that out a little bit. Uh, looking from the back side, it's not that bad actually. It's uh, uh, pretty close on, on most of the wires. So this has to go down. So we have about five things we've got to do. We'll probably start off just doing some more shrinks here, get that done first. All right, I started walking over to the shrinking facilitator and I said, hmm, I probably could get some more internal shrinking done right here if I clamp it on the bench here and just knock that down a little bit and then later we'll do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll attack this a little bit and see if we can shrink that a little more there. All right, that area there is our target. We put some wood on either side there. We got this all clamped up. Let's see if we can get some shrinking going on here. If we've got that peak, we've got shrinking. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit and see what happens. I think that's as far as we'll be able to take that. Let's go do the other shrinking. All right, it looks really uh, bad right now. <laughs> I put a couple of shrinks on this bottom uh, apron here to pull that side around. And then we put a bunch in here and we did the internal shrink here. It looks horrible. We'll uh, planish this all out in a minute here. We're just gonna knock all these shrinks down. That's where it wants to go down, so I'm going to stretch that a little bit, see if I can get an advantageous, advantageous little spot here. I think that's working good. Uh, get that knot out of here.
we're basically just sculpting it just like it was clay except it's aluminum it's pretty soft still it's pretty malleable you just got to be careful that none of those gathers tip over on you you don't want them tipping so you got to watch them all the time All right, let's planish that out and see what we got now. Let's see what the flexible shape pattern says now. I'm going to get it all planished out, but it's smooth enough that we can manipulate it around quite, a, quite well now. So we're looking good in this corner. This is all minor stuff here. This is good. The only bad spot we got is right there. We still got to bring this together quite a bit. So let's put a couple more shrinks right in this area here and get that pulled down some more. That's looking good. Now we'll smooth that out and see what we got. Smoothed it up pretty good. Now uh, let's set the arrangement. Starting to look a little better. So we don't have any gauges with this uh, flexible shape pattern and a proto flexible shape pattern. So we'll have to set the arrangement right here on the car, on the wire form. So we'll clamp this on and kind of manipulate it around and the wire form will tell us where we're deficient now. All right, we got it clamped on and uh, the arrangement set as best we can. It's given us a little bit of a fight. There's a lot of uh, springiness to it still. Uh, we have still a lot of material right in here, but we've greatly in, uh, improved our situation. This is a, a problem here. We've got to shrink that. You can see it, where it made that hot spine. Uh, we might be able to just shrink that cold right here, right on the, the wire form, just kind of knock that down. Uh, worst case, we can use uh, heat later on. I was going to try to do this without heat, but we might have to use heat right in that area where we did the pre-shrink. We just obviously didn't do it enough. This is flowing pretty good. That's pretty easy to do. That needs just a little wheeling to clean it up. 
So we got that, a little wheeling, and this. And uh, once we get that done, it's really going to start to pop. So let me take a few more shrinks on the side here. Although we might, let's try doing it because we've got it clamped up here. Let's see what happens if we wheel on that thing. Um, what's this doing here? Oh, I just put that for uh, What's that? Uh, All right, so I'll try this cold right on the wire form. We'll, we'll try to knock that ridge down a little bit and see if we can get a little shrinkage here. Um, it'll probably jump off, but let's give it a shot anyways. Now, if someone had a hammer form, a full surface 550 uh, body buck, that's what they would be doing. They can do it cold like that. Yep, there we go. We popped. We got a little good, a good shrinkage though. So let's do the shrinkage again around here and. That should pop it up nice. We've got this valley working really good. That's almost where it needs to be. So we've got less than two hours in this panel, and we got a lot of a lot of stuff happening. I think it's probably like an hour and a half total so far. So we could probably do a little more shrinking here. Maybe if I put them in between that two boards, and then we put a bunch of shrinks up here. Let's do that. So on the shrinking, you can under shrink. That means you're just gonna have to shrink again. Uh, you can shrink just the right amount. That almost never happens. Or you can over shrink. Over shrinking is a good thing because you can stretch it out because, and you need room to clean it up after anyways to clean up all the shrink. So. Just the right amount of shrink would actually be an over shrink because you need that cleanup room. And now you can see that panel is really looking like a 550 now. This tail light is cocked over this way, so I'm going to have to stretch it over here a little bit to bring that out. So that brought it out nice. Now do the shrinks. Planish it out now. All right, so let's planish it out. set the arrangement and see what we have now. I'll 
pop it on the wire for them. That'll help us set the arrangement a little better. All right, so Mark helped me clamp this back on. Uh, there's still a bunch of tension in the panel, but not a problem. That's just because the arrangement's not fully set. And you can see it's starting to really pop now as a 550 panel. There's an uh, anomaly right here. That needs to be shrunk a little bit more. We, I've got the both. I got that marked, and I've got this marked. There's a little shrinking down here, and this is the worst problem here. That has to go in about an inch, probably. So a lot of shrinking has to go here, and a little more stretching up here, a little stretching in here to make that turn a little bit better. And uh, other than that, I think uh, we got two hours in this panel total so far and another hour it's really going to be close and then there might be another hour to do the perfection on it so we'll be back stronger than ever in 2021 keep watching subscribe give me the likes the comments i like it all thank you it's ray Shaleen from pro shaper workshop